Hey Pokedad fan club, it's me Pokedad and we're doing a another tournament. Um, this time we're doing uh, my Mega Mewtwo X and Y. I used to run two Ys and one X in this deck. Uh, I've done pretty well with it. Um, so let's see how far we can get in this tournament with it. Alright, looks like we won the coin flip for this first battle. So let's see what we're up against okay well it looks like we're gonna start Jirachi here and decent turn one here I mean depending on what we get off this trainer's mail we also have a hex turn one hex so that can be helpful for us and we'll get Hoopa being able to grab uh, a couple Mewtwo's out so uh, not too bad. Alright, and we're playing a Requaza deck to start. Ooh, that could be troublesome for us. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and play the Hoopa down. And we'll grab Mewtwo. Um, Mewtwo. It looks like our other t Mewtwo is prized, and I don't really want the Shaman because we're holding the Shaman in hand here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play the two Mewtwo's down. Trainer's Mill here. Oh, we get a Spirit Link, and that's good. We'll go with that. Alrighty, and um, could potentially they could potentially knock this Jirachi out, but I'm gonna go ahead and hex here, and then we'll just end the turn. Decent turn one. We didn't go as far as I normally like to go, but um, all things considered, I'm still pretty pleased with it. Uh, he does get the sky field. Will he play the sky field? Is the big question. I doubt he does. And that's all he does for the turn. That typically is what happens when you play the um, turn one Hex Maniac against this deck. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and play our stadium so we can shame in here for four. All right, and man, we are not looking all that great now. So we're going to have to end our turn. So I expect this deck to explode here. Hey, changes the stadium. That's his first order of business, which is understandable. Plays Hoopa down. Alright, he grabs three Requazas with it. And plays all of those down. Plays a Shaman down. Spirit Link here on this Rayquaza. And he plays, gets another Hoopa. Mega Evolves. Plays a Shaman down. He Battle Compressors. And he has, okay, so he puts the Lysander in. Is he going to try to grab, probably going to try to grab the Lysander. He puts two, two more Pokemon in the discard pile. So, um, I don't know, that might have been a mistake. He please gets Registeel, and he's going to Sycamore here. Okay, and he just puts the Registeel in the discard pile. All right, he's got a Mega Turbo here. And he will take out this Jirachi, which I figured as much. 
unfortunately we don't have a lot of counterplay here um, we get Smeargle and uh, we'll play down uh, the psychic energy we're gonna Lysander up Hoopa here and change the stadium all right and we're just gonna shatter shot here oh we gotta wait for him to get his bench back down all right and we'll shatter shot here um, for 120 though I'm still not liking this situation I mean he could easily um, get another stadium back out and put another one on and he'll be ready to go all he needs is a switch stadium and a Pokemon there's the switch just needs a stadium and a Pokemon and he could take a knockout here all right plays an energy And the emerald breaks for a 150 here. All right, the best thing I can do is just damage change. Uh, we do get a float stone, which is nothing great, but we'll at least be able to damage change him here. Um, but you know that's just delaying the inevitable. Again, all he needs is stadium and a Pokemon, and he's got a knockout here. All right, and he whiffs. Um, okay. All we get here is unfortunately a battle compressor. Mm. Well, one thing we can do is we can at least take a knockout on this. Uh, Rayquaza using Smeargle, but man, it's a shame that we're uh, we're not going to be able to Mega Evolve, which is what I really would like to do. All right, we'll go ahead and use Smeargle's second coat ability. Uh, that allows us to get this Psychic, and we can at least um, Shatter Shot here for the knockout. Alright, now the good thing is is we do have damage on the uh, Hoopa here. We do get another, okay, we got, at least we got um, some semblance of a counterplay here. Alright, he's going to take out uh, that Mewtwo. All right, this has the float stone on it, so we'll promote the shaman here. Mm. I really would like to judge here, but I don't think we can afford to just because we have uh, so few cards. So we're going to go ahead and sycamore here. All right. All right, we do get a Mega Mewtwo if we can get a plant energy on the Mega Mewtwo. See if we can get a Mega Turbo here. Get a Mewtwo Spirit Link. So we'll definitely take that. And... Get an Ultra Ball. Okay. Well, we can at least grab another Shaman here. So we'll do that. 
shaman here for um, five. Okay, we get the Mega Turbo and we also get, okay. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and Mega Turbo here, uh, retreat into the Mega Mewtwo, and I guess we'll just Psychic Infinity here. Does hit him for a hundred. Um, we have a couple outs. Um, as long as he doesn't take a knockout on this Mewtwo here, um, I feel like we probably are going to be in a pretty good position to win this. He does Mega Evolve. Question is, is does he have Stadium and he needs two Pokemon? He does have the Stadium. He's battle compressoring. Now, if he does get the knockout here, we will be able to revenge knockout, and that would just leave us with needing the Hoopa. Um, and you know, he threw a lot of stuff in the discard pile early on, so he really can't afford another change of the stadium. Um, he has Bunnelby, okay. Bunnelby is an interesting play here. Alright. And he needs one more Pokemon to take a knockout. But the fact that he's playing that Bunnelby down tells me that, you know, he's really searching. He's going to try to get Pokemon back. The other thing is, is he did take an early prize on that Jirachi, so he only needs, after this Mega Mewtwo, he only needs like a Lysander and one more. Um, okay, he's going to Birch here. And he goes down to four. Trainer's Mail's here. He does get the Sacred Ash, so he's going to put all those back into his deck. Alright, this is becoming an exciting game, but he still only has six, so he can't knock us out. Unless he has like an Ultra Ball, maybe he does have the Ultra Ball. Oh, he does. Okay, so he's probably going to grab a Shaman here. He grabs a Hoopa. Okay. Plays down the Hoopa. And he grabs a Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza, and... Alright, he's going to take a knockout here. Okay, so we'll promote our Mewtwo here. Let's see what we draw into. Alright, we draw into an energy. We'll play the double colorless here. Uh, we will be able to take a knockout. Um question is do we judge here or do we mm, do we hex maniac I know that he's got a mega quasi in hand hmm and it would be hard for him to fill his bench up with his hand uh, I think I am going to Hex Maniac here. I 
he'll probably get drop this hoopa and probably I would say his two um, shamans here is what I would think. Mm, he only did one shaman. Okay, that's interesting. All right, we're going to. I think I'm going to hex maniac here. Maybe judging would be better, but um, regardless, we're going to hex maniac, and we'll take a knockout on this mega Raquaza. And if he's got VS Seeker for a Lysander, he can just um, take out um, the Smeargle here, which could be a problem. Oh, but the fact that he's promoting that Bunnelby tells me that he is probably not got it. And, uh, hmm. Okay, he does Mega Evolve. How many Mega Turbos have we played? One, two, we've played two. All right, now the question is, do I want to take a knockout on this Bunnelby or not? I don't think so. I think I want to hex here again. Um, and then we can Lysander for game. Um, reason why I didn't take the knockout there is I don't want I mean he's gonna need to have like a switch and a lot of stuff um, to win this game and I don't think he has it is what I'm saying and with the hex causing him not to be able to use shamans um, now we've got game okay because now we can put enough energy on this Mewtwo that we can Lysander up shaman And uh, it was a good game for our opponents. Uh, came down to the wire. But we take the win in this first round of this tournament. So I will go ahead and pause it. I'm sure actually it's probably going to be just 60 seconds because we're probably one of the last ones. But we'll pause it here and we'll come back when next round starts. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right, we're back for round two. We got about five seconds left before the next round starts. Looks like we're going to take on the Royal Knight. Um, interesting. And they're playing a Water Fairy Colorless. Could it be Toad, possibly? Uh, I don't know. All right. We lost the coin flip, so we're going second, which is never good with our Mewtwo deck. We prefer to go first, but it does happen. Who and we start a Hoopa start, which is terrible for us. This is the worst start you can have. All right, and we'll see what our opponent is playing. Oh, another Raquaza deck with Xerneas. Very interesting. And it was a water type, too. Hmm. Spritzy and Shaman. Very interesting deck, I must confess. I wonder where the water comes in. Is he playing like an artillery? Maybe that's what he's doing. Um, all right, we at least get the Mewtwo, so we're not totally dead yet. We'll play an energy on Mewtwo. Go ahead and battle compressor here. Get a couple supporters in the discard pile. Um, um, let's see here. What do we have? We have the hex, so we could put the hex in there. I think sycamore is good. Um, I think hex maniac is okay, and we'll put an energy here. 
so we'll hit done and unfortunately I want to save the stadium to counter so we're going to end the turn this hoopa may go down all right he gets the aromatis which that's good for him he's got a lysander up the Mewtwo so he's looking to put some damage on us all right get some fairy energy plays it on Xerneas okay plays the shaman down plays Lugia he's gonna intensify and burn me here okay um all right we've got Jirachi here um hmm. dragon pulse this is not a great situation for me um I'm gonna put the energy here I may have to retreat next turn so we'll shatter shot here for a whopping 30. Um, I guess if he got muscle band and an energy, he can knock the Mew out, which could be problematic for us. But he plays it to the Lugia, so the most he's going to do is another 60 here on me. Um, unfortunately, man, I wish we had a... Um, Wish we had a VS Seeker or something. This is not a good start for us. This deck usually runs pretty consistently, uh, but it does, like any deck, gets has its dead draws. Um, if he does hit me for 60 here, we can always come back. We'll play the Rainbow Energy, and we'll have 130 on us. Oh, okay, so he is going to come um, move the Energy up, and he is going to hit with... Um, Oh, he's going to move that back. He's going to hit with Lugia? That's okay. That's fine, too. We can, we're can. we okay with that. Um, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80. For 140 here. Um, I mean, we'll be at 140. All right, with the Rainbow Energy, we'll be at 150, and then we can damage change. So we do get another Mewtwo here. Play that down. We'll go ahead and play the Rainbow Energy. Putting ourselves at 150. We'll then change the Stadium. And the only bad thing is he's got the Aromatis, so he may have like an AZ or something. But we'll at least damage change here and put 150 on... Um, that Lugia, he can hit us for a hundred, which is still not great. Um, or he could put a double colorless down, and he could put um, my AZ this up. Could put a double colorless down and use um, Hurricane Deep Hurricane. Okay, so he does have the AZ, and we are just in full top deck mode. We are trying to fight him off as well as we can. What does he put up, though, is the big question. He okay, puts the Xerneas up. Plays the Lugia back down. Puts the Lugia back up. Okay. All right, if ever we needed a top deck, it would be right here. It's not really the top deck we were looking for. Um, oh, but he, we can still damage change. Um, I'm not really sure why he's, yeah, so we're going to just damage change him here. Puts a hundred back on him. All 
how he plays Sycamore. All right, and considering that we um, all things considering, considering that we have, um, you know, not drawn into a supporter yet, I'm feeling like we're doing at least pretty decent here. All right, we got the stadium. Um, I guess we'll play the stadium. Um, not that it really matters, and again, we're going to have to just damage change, because otherwise he'll add an energy and X-Blast next turn. So he is putting a little bit of damage on this Mewtwo down here. Um, he could Lysander and X-Blast that Mewtwo, and that's definitely a possibility. Plays another Xerneas down. Hmm. He plays a Pokemon Center Lady. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's really funny is he's just putting the 60 damage that I put on him. So he's just taking off what I put on him. Uh, all right, we got Smeargle here. Do we have any? We have that in the discard pile. Do I really need it? I'm not going to bench him just yet let's see 60 90 mm. all right we'll just damage change here all right if we could grab an ultra ball or a vs seeker we would be in a decent position here uh, a Lysander wouldn't even be a bad thing. Uh, we, if we could get a Lysander, we could Lysander up Lugia and take Lugia out. Playing another energy on Lugia. And he might have enough for the knockout. He's got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40. Um, he would need a muscle band, and then he could use Deep Hurricane. And he could take a knockout here. And then it might be the beginning of the end for us. Um, but he hits Breakthrough again. So we are going to just see um, what we get here. All right. Finally get a VS Seeker. All right. And we're going to VS Seeker here. And maybe we can get ourselves back in the game. All right, um, trainer's mail here. All right, we get a spirit link. Okay, so the question is, um, how, which Mewtwo do we want to Mega Evolve? Um, I actually think, let's see, he's got 90 on him. He's got 60. Hmm. Got Lysander. 170. Wait, if we take this... Alright, we're going to... I think we're going to... Actually, before we decide, um, we're going to go ahead and discard um, Giovanni and the Floatstone. I don't like discarding the Floatstone, but I want to hold on to the Lysander. I want to give myself options. Is the X in here? It is. Yes. All right. We're going to pretty much take him down to just one energy, except for that DCE. So we're going to put that there. Put Mega Evolve into X. All right. And then we can Vanishing Strike here. We could also do Damage Change, but it wouldn't help us in this case. Uh, vanishing Strike. For the knockout, and now he needs to hit 170. I mean, he could still theoretically do it. Well, not really, not now. 
because um, the Lugia would need three energies to be able to take a knockout. And so I feel like we can pretty much tank this Mewtwo the rest of the way. Um, and we can also get this Mega Mewtwo ready to go. Um, possibly get it into a Y. Or he's going to arrow ball here, hitting us for 120. Um, Alright, so what I think I want to do here is I think I want to... We 180 here. What's the most menacing Pokemon to us? All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the double colorless here. I'm gonna go ahead and Lysander, and I feel like we can just go ahead and take out this Xerneas. Then that would allow us to um, take out the Shaman next turn if we need to. We'll go ahead and and good. We're gonna go ahead and I think we'll get rid of just one of these mega turbos and the trainer's mill, and we'll keep the stadium just because the stadium is so powerful for us. We'll go ahead and grab a mega Mewtwo. Why? Now we don't have the spirit link, so I'm not gonna mega evolve, uh, but we will damage change here, and we have it on hand just in case something catches us off guard but now that Xerneas is gone and really all we need to do is just be a seeker for the Lysander Lysander up uh, Shaman and that's game or we can take out Lugia with a vanishing strike also let's see 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 I think he can only hit us for 160 here at most he is going to play Pokemon Fan Club. And I can't believe we pulled through the barrage, starting with a Hoopa and then dead drawing for so long. But again, that just shows you the power of damage change. And I wasn't even using the Megas. I was using just the regular um, Mewtwo's here to damage change. And uh, very powerful in spite of everything. So um, he's trying to dig. I have no idea what he could be digging for that could knock out this Mega Mewtwo. Okay, he takes out our stadium, which is a little too late now because I can Vanishing Strike. And only take, he takes out our Spirit Link. No big deal there either. And at this point, I think he realizes there's nothing he can do. He manually retreats, but all I need is a VS Seeker for the Lysander, and I have it in hand. So, play Sacred Ash, which this is kind of interesting. I didn't see the water where any of his water Pokemon came in. Did he have anything in the discard pile? Uh, anyway, he's going to Geomancy. Um, Alright, and we're just going to be a seeker for the Lysander and take him out. Um, and that Lugia has been menacing to us this whole game, so we're going to Vanishing Strike that thing. Bye bye. Yeah, good game, opponent. I couldn't get it off, but anyway, so there is the second round of the tournament. Uh, I feel like we would have probably won that one a lot faster had we not started Hoopa and we hadn't dead drawn. Uh, that's the only bad thing about Hoopa. He's kind of a detriment if you end up starting him. Anyway, it doesn't look like the tournament's ready to, s the next round is ready to start, so I'll just pause the video and we'll go from there. All right, we're back for the final round. We've got about five seconds left for the, until the next round starts. Uh, the first two rounds, I have to admit, have been pretty close. It's not been a, uh, you know, dominating, and it actually has been pretty skill-based, having to figure out how to work through what you're going to do. Uh, but anyway, it looks like our final opponent is playing Water, Fire, Psychic, and Colorless. 
If we see another Rayquaza, I may just laugh, though. I mean, uh, even though the second opponent that we played, that Rayquaza wasn't, um, you know, we didn't really, that wasn't like a Mega Rayquaza deck. All right, looks like we're going to get Shaman, and it looks like we may end up having to go with Shauna here so we don't lose this X. Mm. All right. Our opponent doesn't have any Pokemon in his hand, though, so we're going to get at least one card. Fortunately, I don't like having to throw Shame in there. Are we playing a Houndoom deck? It sure looks like it. Um, and I have to tell you, I don't know that I've played this matchup very much with um, Mega Mewtwo. Um, though I would have to say that Damage Change is probably going to have to come in or is this a mill deck i wonder okay he's got um hmm. well we'll find out right here oh he's playing houndoom bats wow what an awesome turn one all right he gets lysander all right he's got shaman here hmm All right, three trainers mills. So um, actually, before we play them, let's thin our deck out a little bit. We're gonna put um, I don't know Sycamore, Shauna. I think if Shauna's in here, play Shauna. Put Shauna in there. We'll go ahead and throw. Um, looks like Sycamore might be prized. We only play one Sycamore in this deck, um, and it's okay. We still usually have enough draw to get through um, the deck. So I'll go ahead and put Hex Maniac in here. Alright, and we want to see. I'd love to draw into an Ultra Ball. That would be a great. Um, and there we go. There it is. Alright. Um, Let's go ahead and mm, we're probably not going to keep this. Well, I don't know if that was the right play, but let's see if Hoopa is in here. And he is. So we'll get Hoopa. And then I guess we'll also grab uh, mm, two Mewtwo's and a Shaman. Mewtwo 1. Mewtwo 2, and it looks like we got all of our Mewtwo's and all of our Shamans, so we'll grab a Shaman here. Alright, we'll play um, Mewtwo down, Mewtwo down. Alright, we'll go ahead and Trainer's Mill here. Um, get an Ultra Ball. Do we need an Ultra Ball? I don't think so. Um, so we'll pass on the Ultra Ball. Trainer's Mill again, and we do get a Spirit Link, and I do like that. And um, so with that, man, I, he could Mega Evolve and take out this Shaman right away. Um, mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and Shaman here for four. See what else we can get. Um, all right, we at least get an energy. Um, hmm. Don't really love my position here. I don't want him to like Lysander snipe bat. Um, I'm gonna just in turn there. Uh, I want to be able to use the Shauna next turn. I'll be able to at least Mega Evolve one of these, and I'm considering since I have an energy in the discard pile, um, I may go with X. It's a little bit tankier, um, but let's see. I know we may lose this Shaman. If we do, so be it. I 
gets the energy. Does he have spirit link? He's got muscle band. Okay. That threw me off. Threw me for a loop. He's definitely not going to... Um, okay, he's going to probably get... Oh, he didn't get Octillery. Maybe he already has Octillery in hand. All right, what's he going to hit? He's going to hit the Shaman. Okay. Uh, 50, 70. Okay, he can potentially take out the Shaman with just a Houndoom. Um, yeah, looks like it. He's going to take the Shaman out. And I'm actually kind of okay with that. Um, cause he had to use a lot of resources to get it. We potentially can actually charge up this Mega Mewtwo. Now we're going to need, um, a lot for that to happen, but, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play this down. Play the Mega Mewtwo here. We're going to go ahead and Mega Turbo. Um, and we're going to Shauna here, unfortunately. Um, that's all I got. But that's what we're going to have to go with. Shauna. All right, let's see what we get here. Okay, we the Ultra Ball, which will allow us to keep going a little bit further. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and Ultra Ball these two away, grabbing a Shaman. Shaman. Battle Compressor and Mega Turbo, and we got a Knockout here. We got the Battle Compressor. Go ahead and play. The... All right, and we're not in a terrible position. Um, I need a Fighting Energy. I'll put into the discard pile. All right, there's the Fighting Energy. Put Judge in there, and. Um, don't know that there's anything else we really need. Actually, we probably can go ahead and put the battle compressor in there. All right, and I'm just gonna mega evolve, and that'll be the end of my turn. For him to take a knockout on this. Um, Mewtwo would be really, really hard, though. All right, Grand Flame. He hits him at a hundred. Right. It doesn't even look like he's trying to get to. Um... It's kind of funny. Um, do I play this or do I Shauna and hope that I get? Um, I think I just Shauna and maybe I'll draw into a fi fighting energy. Um, yeah, I think that's the way to go. I really wish we had Sycamore, but it's prized. All right, let's see what we draw into. We need a fighting energy. and oh, we don't get it. Mm. And the other thing is we don't get, oh man, and if I had a bench space, we could play Smeargle. Mm. Well, we're going to have to play this down here, play this here, and unfortunately, we're going to have to end turn. Could he knock us out here, though, is the big question. Giovanni scheme 50 70 oh he's gonna are he's gonna say so he, 50 if he could put 20 60 80 50, yeah he could if he got 
two crowbats. No, he only needs two crowbats. That's all he needs. Okay, he mega evolves here. Alright, let's see what we draw into. We draw into a VS Seeker. Um, mm, it's not a great option for us. We're going to Ultra Ball. I'm going to actually get rid of these two so we don't draw into them again. We only have 13 cards, so we need a Mega Turbo. Um, I'm not going to grab the Jirachi. We need a Mega Turbo. Um, or actually right now all we really need is a stadium. We'll grab Sean again. And if we really need a Mega Turbo or a stadium or a fighting energy, we get the... Okay, good. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and put this on here just in case there's head ringers or something. Play the stadium. And the question is, can he knock me out? He could do. Yeah, he can still. Mm. Grand Flame will do 180, and he'll need two bats. All right, so at this point, I think we just damage change here. Um, maybe he takes us out, but then we'll definitely it'll definitely ensure that we get the KO. And he's going to have to use um, a lot of resources here to get it. All right, he's going to put another energy down, which is fine. He does change the stadium. He has to, okay, so does he get two bats? He needs two bats. I mean, he needs two of the main bats here. That doesn't do, uh, he needs like a crow bat. Okay, he's going to VS Seeker for the Giovanni. And Giovanni, okay, for three more he needs, he needs, um, well, actually he just needs a pro bat. That's all he needs. But I'm actually still okay with this position because I've got enough damage on him to take him out next turn. And he's going to keep, so he's going to take us out. Okay, that's fine. All right, he takes the Mega Mewtwo out. Um, we're going to promote the Shaman here. And we'll go ahead and play Jirachi down. All right, now we need to think this through. So he's got 100 damage on him. We only need 110 more. Um, so we've got enough. So we can Mega Turbo and we can bring it to this Mewtwo over here. So that's what we'll do. All right, we're going to retreat into Mega Mewtwo. And we will then Psychic Infinity here. And we'll take the knockout on that Houndoom. The only bad thing is he only really needs um, one more um, he only needs to really take out a shaman and he can have the win so he All right, he hits us for 60 here. He'd have to hit us for 150. All right, we do get an energy here. I'm going to play the energy here. Um, I feel like I almost have to play conservative here because if he threw down Spirit Link... Houndoom Blacksmith, he would have the game. Um, mm. If he has it, he has it though. Um, you know what? We gotta go for it. I, I mean, if he has it, then he has it. So we gotta play it as if he doesn't have it. 
And we'll take Psychic Infinity, take out this bat. If he's got the blacksmith, then he's pretty much got the game. Okay. Gets the artillery, so he's going to definitely get to look through a lot of cards here. Um, he needs a blacksmith. He needs a... Along with the blacksmith, he needs a spirit link and a ha mega hound doom. That's what he needs. Now, artillery could potentially... And I only got 2 minutes and 24 seconds left, so I'm going to have to move fast. He gets one card. It, is it what he needs, though? That's a big question. Alright, he gets an energy. If he swoop across, that might be a mistake on his part. Okay, he's going to mega evolve. If he's, he doesn't swoop across, that's actually a very smart play on his part. Um, all right, we're going to play an energy here, and unfortunately that's going to force me to have to damage change here. Um, I don't want to, but I have to. So, um, because otherwise he'll be able to blacksmith and take a knockout. Uh, he may still be able to take a knockout if he could get Crobat, Crobat. Okay, he plays an energy there. I've got two minutes left. He's got Octillery, Abyssal Hand. Hmm, this is pretty exciting. I've got to play fast, though. I've only got two minutes left. Hmm. It's interesting that he hasn't done anything yet. He, don't time out, please. Okay, good. He's Lysandering. So does he have the game? Alright, he's going to swoop across. He may have game. That was actually a pretty good Lysander move. Mm, but I got the DCE, which is really good here. Uh, so we can Sky Return for the knockout. And we'll draw a prize. And we'll put up... Um, Mega Mewtwo here. Okay, that took about 30 seconds. I still got two prizes to take. He's got two prizes to take. Gets a super scoop up. He is going to play it. Tails. Abyssal Hand gets him one card. He plays to Mega Houndoom. He does Sycamore here. Alright, he's down to five cards. Crobat, and does he have game? He needs a Muscle Band. What does he get? He gets Lysander. All right. That pretty much means that's pretty much the nail in the coffin. Um, 
I need a Lysander myself. If I'm going to have any shot at this. Alright, I get Hex Maniac. Hmm. Fortunately, that doesn't. Well, actually, we got three cards left. I need a VS Seeker. Let's check. Uh, I've only got a minute left. One Lysander's in the discard pile, two Lysander's, and four. Um, unfortunately, four of them. Alright, um, so. The best thing we can really do is we can retreat here into this play uh, double colorless here and take a knockout on the crowbat. All right, we have no way. We had to use so many VS seekers on the Shauna, um, which is problematic. But I think he can just Lysander for the Shaman and take the victory. So. Uh, that's a good game on his part. Uh, we know he has Lysander in his hand, and we can't do anything about it. So, but it was still a good shot. We actually might have. Um, we might have actually should have sky returned. Now that I think about it, that was, but I was under time pressure. And so, um, anyway, but there you have it, guys. That's the Mega Mewtwo X and Y uh, deck. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite decks. Uh, I hope you like this tournament. Uh, we had some really nail biters here. So, anyway, guys, hit like, subscribe, and we will talk to you later. Bye.